Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Doom 2016 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. Now that you're looking at the game currently running right now with the lowest in-game graphics settings, we are using the Vulkan API, but we are at the full 1080p resolution. And as you can see, this 6-core 12-thread APU is doing a pretty fantastic job with these settings here. We are just shy of a 60fps average for most of the gaming experience, and our 1% lows are comfortably above 30, which is at least the bare minimum target that we try to go for. So 1% lows in the mid 40s means that this is going to be a very, very nice experience. Overall, visually speaking, even if the game is in the lowest graphics settings, it still looks really nice. And the fact that we can get this level of performance at the full 1080p resolution is fantastic to see. Of course, id Software has always had really fantastic performance in their games due to the fact that their engines are pretty fantastically optimized and just designed to run on practically any kind of hardware. It is a real shame that id Software no longer open sources their engines engines like how they used to back in the old Quake days. It would be nice to actually see more games that perform this well and look this good. In general, I feel like for how good the tech is in the id tech engine, it's really sad that at this point, they're the only ones that actually end up using the engine. There is no other developers that are actually picking it up and using it, or mostly at this point just relegated to using Unreal or Unity. And not to say that those engines are bad, but their general purpose nature essentially means that they're a capable capable engine in a lot of different genres, but they're not a master of anything. Id Tech Engine really just feels fantastic in first person shooters in general. Now, of course, game design is a huge part of all of that, but you need the right tech to really bring out good gaming performance. And if you've ever played Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal, you know just how fantastic these engines can feel, along with the fantastic gameplay design. But of course, the level of performance that we're getting here might not be to your liking just because of the fact that we're not hitting that 60 FPS average that everyone wants to hit and I can completely understand that for a game that essentially can have some pretty fast paced combat so what we can do is actually drop the internal render resolution just a bit just going down to 85% render resolution gives us a nice boost in performance where now our average is comfortably above 60 our 1% lows are just shy of that 60 FPS target which means that this is a extremely smooth gaming experience now sure you're not going to be doing any high refresh rate gaming like this you could drop the internal resolution even more if you want to get that kind of experience out of this game, though I don't think that the resolution sacrifice is really going to be worth it. This isn't really a competitive shooter or anything like that. I think that 60 FPS or just above that is more than adequate enough for this game, but you do have the flexibility of tailoring the experience to what you want because the game is going to keep up with you no matter what you want to do, whether you want the full resolution or you're willing to sacrifice a bit of that resolution for higher levels of performance. Either way, this is going to have a great experience for pretty much anyone out there. Now, I would be shocked to see anyone complain about this level of performance, especially if we turn off the FPS counter. So this is definitely one of those games that I recommend that you pick up and try on your system here. You're going to get a lot of fun out of it. And you're not going to have to make any major sacrifices to get this to perform well on here. But anyways, I hope you found this quick look at Doom 2016 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600U on the B-Link SER5 Mini PC to be interesting, useful, or entertaining. If you're interested in picking up this mini pc you can check out the amazon affiliate links down below to help support the channel or you can become a channel member for as little as a dollar a month but anyways i will catch you in the next one